everyone um just wanted to touch base with you all and just wish you a wonderful wonderful christmas and we thought we'd mix things up a little bit we're not the hand in deck anymore the other way round and the opposite way <laughs> just to show way. you we do have a christmas tree yeah and for <laughs> for a change deb's going to shut up and i'm going to do most of the talking in this yeah, video yeah i'm sorry to say um but yeah just wanted to wish you a wonderful christmas everybody and a happy new year yeah we've been so behind yeah just getting videos out i've got this that i'm gonna open in a little while that was what um dave and fiona brought over from canada when they came over to see us it's a opa um i'm not sure what the o stands for ottawa because it's a canadian ottawa brewery oh, right, so ottawa yeah. and pale ale 6.8 percent um yeah so looking looking forward to this one i shall op open this in a little while so cruising wise we've not done an awful lot um i think we've left here this marina um gone out 300 yards up the road uh, up the road no, look no. at me up up <laughs> the river me, oh yeah. the middle levels or whatever you want to call it just 300 yards up and there's, there's a little more in mark smashed down all the reeds and it's, it's absolutely wonderful um, and you, you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, we, we pretend we're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, again. and it's yeah. just five yeah. minutes down. Yeah, so. there's our marina, which you'll see from this footage, there's there's two basins. We're in the, I don't know, it's the east or the west basement. We have to come out of our basin through a little narrow section Very into narrow. the other basin, sharp turn to get out of the marina entrance. And, well, you'll see it now. Yeah, so as you can see from that, that footage, that's our, our little, our little world, world at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but there will be some more cruising coming Hopefully, up. Hopefully, yeah, after the new anyway, year. Anyway, that's enough about cruising. Okay. So I've just actually found out that OPA, or OPA in Greek, is to celebrate life itself. So, And I suppose if anybody's seen my big fat Greek wedding. OPA! Oh, 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 right. well, it did come all the way from Canada. Yeah, yeah, right. got a little bit shaken up on the plane. If Dave's watching this, he's got, he's yeah, like Dave. holding his breath. I bet he's holding his breath. <laughs> Dave and Fiona holding yeah. their breath. Again, on an honest review, um. Yeah, they use a mixture of light malts and sort of dark caramel malts. Looks a nice yeah, colour. Yeah, it's quite a uh, quite a dark amber amber colour. 
doesn't smell of anything that I'd normally c compare a beer to. Um, European hops, a mixture of uh, European hops that they use and giving it a hopefully a bit of a crisp zesty flavour. Now in my mind I'm going to say something along the line of St Austell's proper job um, because that's quite a hoppy beer at 6.8% this is going to be along similar lines I think. Ooh. Oh, that is... A thumbs up, Dave. Wow, that is a right nice pint. You wouldn't need many of them to do the job. Can I taste? Um, Shepherd and Neem do a, a traditional IPA. Ooh. That is very hoppy, very nice. And you only brought two cans over, Dave. I suggest you get back on that plane. Oi. Very nice. Yes. Yeah, that, that is, is a very, right very nice, nice pint. Yeah. 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 Re really chuffed about that one. Cool. I've got some best bitter he's brought me, I think, from the same brewery, but I shan't drink that while I'm drinking this because you can have two fantastic beers. Once your palate has been soaked with one of them, you taste the other one and it normally Mind you, you've got two of these, haven't Yeah, you? I've got so, like two of those. So I might two save of these you. is... <laughs> save you. He'll be Look, going I'm, to bed I'm, early anyway. I'm, I'm waffling already. <laughs> You carry on talking, I'm going to just enjoy my beer. <laughs> that is nice. Mm, mm. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. Massive thank you to everybody um, who commented on our last video oh, yeah. with the Lecto Wood Fuels. Yeah. Um, I've been given neighbours the <laughs> the logs. Yeah. I've kept one box of the heat logs. Um, just should we ever run out of coal or anything or get one of those really really cold spells where it stays below zero for oh it's quite gassy below zero for three or four days they will do what they say on the tin and, and kick also if heat. you leave the boat for a couple of days and you you uh, the fire's gone out and you want to just to heat the boat up really quick just yeah. you know that's a good way yeah, of doing they, it they will do that yeah yeah, yeah. So. um and uh, there, there was a lot of comments about do we still use the coal cage? And yes, we do. Yes, we do. Um, there's probably three or four times during the winter, when, like I say, when we have those really cold spells, we'll take the coal cage out so we can really fill the fire. But the rest of the time, the coal cage is in there. Um, we use the smokeless fuel. And, well, if you watch this little clip, this is our bedtime routine, and it's still in in the morning. The boat is lovely and warm. Yeah. The time, Deborah? are. 11 o'clock in the evening. <laughs> yeah, I just got told off for getting my camera at this time of night. But the reason for it is... Uh, we're going to show you what we do um, with our last sort of fire build before we go to bed. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, this is using the smokeless fuel that we normally use. And um, we've got it into a routine that we can, we can get it stacked up. We go to bed now at 11 o'clock. We'll get up 8 o'clock in the morning. There'll still be some coal burning and the boat will still be warm. Yeah, so, sometimes later than 8 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, well, I weren't going to say that. <gasps> <laughs> so let me show you what we do. I didn't have my glasses on, but I think that said something about 30 degrees. That is, it is, war it is warm in here. Now, De Deb's, Deb's going to do a check. I'm Deb's going to do, do a check. check. Let's have a look. It is 31. There, there you go, you heard it here, 31 degrees. So let's have a look what's going on in the yeah, fire. He's got the stage light out. That's where we are at the moment, the coal cage. I'm now going to uh, stoke that up and show you how we leave it. and I can't remember the name of the uh, coal that we're using but it's just as good as XL So 
that is basically how we leave our coal cage stoked and then um, we always when we burn in the smokers field we always have this top vent fully open and I'll wind this bottom vent um, fully closed and then I'll just open it one one and a half turns and temperature wise it's not too cold outside about eight nine degrees we normally keep it so it's just just into the red Alfie can't work out why I'm filming this time of night he's curled up in his place of choice well, I'm sure Debbie's now about to slip into something more comfortable it's uh, five past eleven so we shall see you guys in the morning night no, bless you right 8 30 let's grab a look at the fire well, I can see that the fan on the fire is spinning well <laughs> it's a nice warm 27 degrees Bonnie and Alfie are both bursting for a wee hang on kids let me just have a look in here There you can see the remaining coal. Yeah, so that kept us going nine and a half hours overnight. <coughs> oh, a little bit chesty this morning. You can probably hear Alfie whining in the background. Deb's doing uh, breakfast for him. Um, so, and that is how we keep the fire going. Now, it's early November. This fire probably won't go out now until... Um, March time it just goes 24 7 there might be a couple of uh, times over that period where I'll deliberately let it go out just so I can check on the chimney sweep the chimney but apart from that that will go 24 7 yes yeah, so that was Wayne Sharman's uh, coal cage so I think Mark will put a link in or whatever yeah yeah, you'll do what yeah. You do. yeah I think he sells them directly he was selling them I think he set up his own website but you can find those for sale in Chandra's and again the cop this is our third winter with it yeah some people love it some people don't get on with it um, it depends on your fire the type of burn you, you use sorry the type of fuel you use on it uh, the type of fire you have and just how roaring and hot you like yeah. your fire I mean, we, we enjoy it because it makes our seems to make our particular fire on our particular boat more controllable. Yeah. Some haven't got on and with it, and it's a constant warmth rather than having to just you when you fill the boat uh, the fuel up. Uh, no, the fire fill the fire up with fuel. If you didn't have a coal cage, you got major sort of like oh, it's hot, hot, hot. You got that, got that. Out in the yeah, <laughs> and then it just sort of like dies down. Whereas with the coal cage, it is a constant warmth, and we—I mean, we love it. We've we've never had any problems, no, never. No, no. You know. Um, what are the questions we've been asked? Lots of um, the new arrival to the family. Yeah. Armilius. 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 Yeah. There's been a lot of people um, asking about the names. Well, uh, we've commented on the on the other boys: Maximus, Malachi, Arcadian. We knew um, young and wasn't going to be afraid of Roger or a John no. and Armilius to keep with that theme. Yeah. He's doing fine. He's doing brilliant. And today, I've <laughs> got to tell you this, today I put him on, uh, Tina gave him to me and I put him on my lap and I had laughs and talking. There's all the blokes now going. Oh. I know. I, I <clears throat> You women out there will understand what that means when a baby of nine weeks old smiles yeah. at you oh my days nine weeks old and he was three weeks early so technically he's three weeks old in no six weeks six old. weeks early yeah, yeah. My but he's he's um absolutely wonderful we had his um what the, his inoculations yesterday and he was a bit poorly last night but he was fine today um and he's he's doing great he's doing great and the boys are right excited for christmas yeah. very and, excited uh, so and we get to spend christmas day with them this year and i'm excited as well because the part for our uh, it's not a webasto it's not a eberspacker it's a mv hydro 5 same and type. all the women watching this will go oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
SD Hydro 5, so our, our diesel boiler. Mm. Well, he's getting an error code coming up, E47. When, when you look in the, uh, the data sheet, it says a um, short circuit on the pump. Ordered a new pump, £80 for a tiny little pump. And new fuel filter, put that in, fired up, run for six minutes, error 47. So with the powers of Facebook, I went on some of the um, narrowboat pages, what do you think it is, and people were saying, oh, it's possibly the programmer, ordered a programmer, another 50 quid, and then somebody contacted me, private message, I've had the same problem, it's the main ECU, 140 pounds. So that turned up today. But we did contact the people, and they were kind enough to cancel the order for the... Programmer and fast-tracked yeah. the ECU yeah, unit so, for us. Yeah, so that so was massive, very, very kind of them. Yeah, yeah, massive thank you to you guys for getting that out. Yeah. So that'll be my little job tomorrow, trying yeah. to get in a very small hole. He'd do that. anything to get out of shopping. You yeah, do know yeah. that, don't you, people? And if if this doesn't work, then it's uh, a new diesel oh, here. Yeah, yeah, which... We're not even going to go no, there. No, no, we're not no, even going to go there right yeah, now. But. I think... The, the one we've got, I think they retail around about the £800 mark. <laughs> if we go down the uh, Eberspacker or Webasto route, we're talking sort of eleven, twelve hundred pounds Whether I can physically get in there... Um, yeah, it's in a really uh, rum place. Yeah, yeah. I think when they we were thinking of getting our grandson. Designed that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, getting one of the grandsons to get to in get the in engine there. bay. Yeah, to get in there and show him what to do. And But I think yeah. when they designed the boat, they hung the heater on a wire from the workshop seal and then built the boat around it yeah because it's, it's physically impossible to get two hands on it at any one time anyway that's enough about that yeah um have a fantastic christmas yes yeah, please please yeah, we enjoy in, yourself yeah, we intend to let your hair down we probably won't put another video up till the new year although i've got a um and you andrew you love these i've got a uh, product review video coming out um, whether I'll get that out before New Year or after, I don't know. But just a, a general us or cruising or narrowboat video, it's going to be next that'll year. Be, yeah, that'll yeah. be next year. That sounds awful, doesn't it? Next oh, yeah. year, but it's only a couple yeah. of weeks away. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're not vlogging until next year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But everybody, have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Yeah, and if... Brilliant new year. Yeah, to help with the algorithm, if you enjoyed this little video, press the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, press the subscribe button. If you want future notifications of any videos we upload, the bell icon. And we'll see you all next year. Yeah. Bye. Bye.